Okay, we're going to go down a slightly different path here. And to do that, what I'd like to have you do is to select the path that we just made and change your fill color to this gray right here. Change your stroke color to this dark blue, assuming you have my swatches palette. And now the next thing I want to do is to lighten up this gray. All right, as you can see in my swatches, that's as light as it gets. But we can make a lighter tint out of it. And we do that simply by going to the color palette, whoops, right here, the color palette. Make sure that your fill chip is on top as opposed to your stroke chip. Okay, your fill chip is on top here. And now grab any one of these RGB sliders and move it to the right. But before you do that, hold down the shift key and then grab any one of them and they're all going to move at the same time because you're creating a tint. As you go to the right, you're lightening. As you go to the left, you're darkening. So let's make a lighter tint about right there and release. And there you go. A nice, nice, very light gray. And that's going to work out for us very well. And let's move on to the next part of this lesson. The exciting part is, and that's downloading clip art from Microsoft PowerPoint. That's right. We're going to go to Microsoft PowerPoint, those of you that have it. And if you don't, you're really missing out on a wealth of resources. Let me call up PowerPoint here and show you what I'm talking about. As a licensed user of PowerPoint, you can go get all the free clip art you want from Microsoft Office Online. And to do that inside of PowerPoint, go to the clip art menu. Go over here and type in what you are looking for. In this case, we're looking for a U.S. flag. Go down here. Very important. Select clip art only. Deselect these other boxes, all right? We're looking for a WMF file. So you only want clip art selected, okay? Shows you all the different kinds of clip art. In fact, you can go in here and get uh, a little more specific. But we're just going to leave clip art selected. Hit go. And here come our U.S. flags. Now find one you like. Okay, let's scroll down and look for something that's kind of wavy. Maybe, oh there, that's a nice one. This one looks good. Let's take this one. Yeah, you can click on any of them and bring them onto the uh, display here and get a better look at it. Now, I was interrupted by a phone call and I paused the screen recorder here and forgot where I was at. So I'm going to take a chance and uh, say we're ready to move this into Illustrator. So just click on it, then hit Control C on your keyboard to copy it. Then go back into Illustrator. And before you paste it in here, you want to paste it to the correct layer. And I don't want to put it on this background layer. I want to put it on this layer here. I want it on its own layer. Okay, hit Control V now. It pastes it in there. Now drag this layer above the background layer. And if you don't have nice big thumbnails here, what you want to do is change your palette options. And you do that right here. I don't know if you probably can't see all of this, but go to the flyout menu, select palette options, and make a nice other 50 pixel palette option thumbnail there for you. So you can actually see what is on there and that'll save you having to name everything. Still, naming things are a good idea. And to do that, double click on the layer and uh, go ahead and type in your name. This is going to end up being a clipping path, folks. I'm going to name it that now. All right. Now let's enlarge it. Hit your E key to get the free transform function. Hold down Alt and Shift as you drag, and that'll scale it in proportion. Hit the V key to get your selection tool. And there it is. Now we're going to do some work on this, make a clipping path out of some text, and we're going to do that in the very next lesson.